Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are your research and destruction channel, and today we got something cool for you. So if you remember in this video here, we broke out the 40 millimeter with the hornet's nest, and that video did really well. Well, a lot of you all had asked if we could test it against some ballistic gel. Well, Clear Ballistics uh, is sponsoring this video. Thank you guys. They hooked us up with this amazing 10% synthetic full torso to try this out on. So we are super excited for this today. These are what we got for you guys. So we have, of course, the 18 shot, 22 round hornet's nest. We are going to do the Dirty Dozen, which shoots 12 rifled 22 rounds. We also have the 410, which shoots four of those. Those are probably just gonna pepper this guy everywhere. And then we got the most adorable 12 gauge round ever designed. We have, yes, the rubber ducky. This thing is full with little round bubbles and rubber duckies. And we're gonna see how that will do out of our 12 gauge adapter here. Now, I'm thinking most of these are just gonna bounce off of this torso, I'm not sure. However, we do have a shotgun and we're gonna try to see if we can get complete burn out of the powder. These are low brass shots, so we're gonna see together. This is literally what we got for you guys. Let's get rolling. All right, so first one up is the 18 rounds of 22 hollow points. This one's non-rifled and we're approximately six yard meters. So these should come up just a tumbling. Let's go for left peck. Forgot how much that recoils. Youch. This is really cool. I am glad you guys suggested us to do this. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen rounds. <laughs> now what's funny is like some of them are like this one right here is pointed backwards. Like this one here is pointed backwards. A couple of them are went in backwards because they just kind of tumble um it looks like we did have a couple come all the way through out the back and and into the dirt so that that was freaking cool it jiggled so much it took his suspenders and kind of ripped it into him well that was really cool so now i'm excited to see the the dirty dozen with the rifled rounds and we'll aim over on this side and see what those do I'm thinking a lot more of those are going to go all the way through, so here we go. Just wanted to show you guys real quick, it's pretty cool how these 18 rounds are all hit with these little triangles. You can see it hit all 18 of them. Alright, now we're going to do the Dirty Dozen. So the reason there's only 12 in here is because there's actually rifled sleeves inside, so it takes up a little bit of space versus the unrifled one. Non-rifled? Unrifled. So, and these are all hollow points. The first one, a lot of them just, they all tumbled basically, and a lot of them went in backwards or sidewards. So, these ones hopefully will stabilize and actually do the hollow point action that hollow points are supposed to do. Let's get him in the other chest.
It looked like it did a lot more damage. Let's go check that out. It's pretty cool. The, the, the problem with our screen versus a, a uh, Phantom, you know, you can get different screens. I don't know if I can get a screen for this Kronos 1.4, a bigger one. Well, you can, there's an HDMI port. Um, right now it's just too small and I'm just too blind. Wait! Show my age here. Oh, just the way it ripples on the body once they all start hitting. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that is wicked, man. Some of those definitely went through because I seen, uh, well, I think one actually hit. I thought I heard a ding on our little T post here, but that was some cool shooting there. There is one right up boop, 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 back that way that did go in backwards. But the other ones, some of them did actually open up like they're supposed to. But a lot of those trails though, they're just right through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we might have had one just come by. They're not the most accurate things, even though because your sights are up here and your barrel's down here on those. So they're meant to lob something, not shoot something at six yard meters. But this is a cool test. And the other thing I like about clear ballistics, you get to see what you shoot. And being that it's synthetic, you can stick it on the shelf and save it for later. You can cut it up and mold it into squares if you want or whatever. So thank you, clear ballistics. It's these guys right here. And their link's in the description right there shut up let's go all right so now we're doing four three inch 410 shells and uh yeah the shells there's basically no barrel at all the shells come almost to the very very end here oh oh Youch. Youch! That was way worse than I remembered. So now you can actually see the, there is no barrel at all. It's basically just chamber. You can see all the, the shells sticking right out the tip. Holy cow. It, we knew this was gonna happen, so he aimed up here and we knew it was just gonna pepper the heck out of this thing, but it's pretty cool how some of them went in. God, they're everywhere. They're, they, they have spanned <laughs> this entire torso Oh, this is cool. Come check out this side shot here, dude. That's how far they're gonna go in you. <laughs> that is insane. Pretty cool. And there's like unburnt powder and stuff on it. That was wicked, wicked cool. Oh, here's one right here. You could just pop it like a zit. Look at that little blackhead. <laughs> Still deformed it though. Oh, I caught him once right in the throat. You did, man, right there. And then he actually burped, and then it kept going. But sweet, this is cool, man. I'm glad we did this video. You guys are awesome. You give us a lot of these ideas, so we thank you. Uh, comment. What do you think is going to happen with the rubber ducky round? Are they all going to bounce off out of the 40 mic mic, or will some of them actually stick in? Again, we're going to do the shotgun after, so we can get maximum burn out of the duckies and um, see what happens, but here we go. Look how cute these are. Thanks to our good friend Skyler. He sent us these to try out. This is like the perfect test for it. That last uh, shot, as you can see, <laughs> the recoil is a little much. Chopped my hand up a little. But I'm hoping some of these actually penetrate, but I have a feeling a lot of them are gonna come right back. I got blood all over your grenade launcher. Whoops, sorry, not sorry. I know the recoil is not going to be that much on this one since it's pretty light. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look at that. I got a rubber bucky. Oh, he's missing his head. They're, fa they're falling out of him. Oh, they're actually <laughs> popping out like a little zits. What is stuck? <laughs> That's hilarious. It's a duck head. <laughs> Death by duck head. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Hey, they actually did penetrate the bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles actually went in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's gonna be a bunch of them. I'm not gonna sit here and count them, but that's pretty funny. Here's, here's the duck body. There's another duck head. <laughs> that is so funny. Thanks for these, Skyler. These are hilarious. Death by Duckhead, man. Wow. That is super funny. I, I am I am surprised. I thought these were all going to hit and just bounce back and go back towards Justin. So Justin was standing right here. Again, we're only about six yard meters. So there we go. <laughs> the heads keep popping off. Hey, he's stuck. <laughs> Wow, these are these are uh, more brutal than I thought. Look at that, stuck right on him. <laughs> oh, you're serious? It actually did stick. I told you, man. I thought you were just BSing me. <laughs> I told you he's stuck. That's, That's too hilarious. funny. That's sticky. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try the actual 12 gauge. See if we can get full chooch out of them little ducks and see how many go in them. So here we go. All right, so we're gonna do the rubber buckies again, but this time out of an actual, you know. 20 inch shotgun, 20 inch ish. It should give it some more energy. Should get us some more penetration. Here we go. I'm gonna keep my mouth closed so I don't catch one of the teefers. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Pieces went all the way back here. Well, that. <laughs> That actually sounded less like oomph than the 40 millimeter did. Right, it felt like I had less energy for some reason. And a lot of them actually flew back because we could hear them hitting the truck when they went back. <laughs> we did get another head embedded in him right here. And um, some more of these uh, white bubbles, these pellets, they're just plastic. Some of them are just, uh, they're just all deformed and broke broke up but I I think we need to have Skylar load those into some high brass rounds yeah I think so get some serious more chooch behind it more chooch needs more chooch <laughs> but uh, you guys can see on the high speed the way it was like boop, boop, boop. you ripples. know that would hurt man you yeah, know oh, yeah. That would hurt. <laughs> yeah especially how deep some of them oh they're not deep but you know well, they're definitely hurt I mean this thing is easily a half inch in into right. this some of them are on the surface. Some of them are about a half inch, a quarter inch. They all went different. I'm sure different they'd break skin. In. Yeah. Oh, it's in there. Yeah, it's in there. Well, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate the suggestion of doing this. We appreciate Clear Ballistics for sending this, this torso out. And again, the cool thing is, is it's not gonna, it's not gonna melt into nothing like the gelatin ones do. This hmm. one you can actually stick on the shelf and save it, show it off if you want to. And it won't get moldy? No. Well, no. I don't know. We're gonna stick it in your house and find out. Yeah, let's try it. The other one's getting pretty moldy. Yeah, that, that <laughs> one's pretty nasty. But Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate our patrons, everybody who supports this channel, and we'll be back.